and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. Today, we're going over the number one coin making method in Madden, guys. Now, this method works really, really well. It's pretty risk free. So, like, the way it works in essence is that worst, worst, literally the worst case scenario, which won't even happen to you, you maybe break even and you don't make anything. Maybe worst case scenario. Best case scenario, you make anywhere from 50k coins to 250k coins per the time you do it. Now, I mean, there's obviously the lucky ones you can pull like an LTD or something and they get crazy more, but on average, it probably takes you about like six minutes to do and you can easily get between 50,000 to 150 to 250,000 coins per attempt. So you can easily make 100k to a few hundred k per hour if you do this right. Now, guys, this method wasn't just my method. I got to give a shout out to Swift YouTube. If you guys didn't already know him, I'll just put a link down below to his channel. His name is Swift. Pretty awesome. Makes similar content to me. I wouldn't say entirely similar. He, he focuses more on the coin aspect and tip aspect. More so where I do a little more of a different variety. But I'd imagine our fan base are pretty similar considering the content they like to watch. So make sure you go check him out. I will leave his link down below in the description. This was his method. I think he got it from a sub, but I'm going to put it on my channel. Now, guys, real quick, guys, I did forget my intro. So do remember, guys, if you want to support the channel, we're 20 subs away from 16,000 subscribers. If you could so kindly go down below, smash that subscribe button, turn on that ready button, boys. Come join the family. We're pushing for it's a new year. Our goal for this year is to hit about 50K by the end of the year. So it started happening now. All you got to do is smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button, guys. It helps the channel out tremendously. Each and every video, when you hit that like button, it definitely helps the videos do well. So if you're watching, you're a loyal fan. I know the giveaways are gone, but always make sure to always run that like button. Nothing looks better than having my video have like 30 likes in the first few seconds with zero views when it says stuff like that. So make sure you make that happen. And you can comment down below. Again, the comment sections are alive. They're safe again. They're not spam with giveaways. So make sure you guys comment. I will be getting to all your comments. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you guys for uh, watching the channel. Enjoy. The way this method works, it's not too complex, but I definitely got to explain it in detail. So let's go over to uh, sets. So the way is we're going to pretty much be manipulating kindling. Now this method, it's pretty cool the way it works. It's, it's something that you wouldn't really expect to work, but it works. So you come on over to Ghost of Madden, you go over to Ghost of Madden Future, the Terry McLaurin set. So the way it's going to work, you're going to buy all three of these cards and do the set three times. It sounds weird, right? So... The price you want to go, oh, let me let me explain before I go into prices. So pretty much the way this set works, once you do it three times, you're going to end up with nine nat cards right here. You're going to end up with three Lindstrom's, three Burns, three Devin Bushes. Once you do the set three times, and you're going to quick sell all nine of them. Each bundle of these three quick sell for about 8,025 kindling. So when you do the math and you times 8,025 kindling times that by three, you end up with 24,075 kindling. So remember that number. Now the price you want to get these cards at, you obviously don't want to go in guns blazing. So the I see Brian Burns, I mean Brian Burns, Chris Lynch all the time for about 120. You want to get you want to get Chris Lynch for about 120. It's not hard to type him out. It's early in the morning, so there's not many up right now, but he's usually around 120. You want to get him for 120. So let's do the math. So that's 120,000 plus Brian Burns again 120. Those are the prices they usually go for. So that's 120 for Brian Burns. So that's 240,000 so far to the set. And then Devin Bush is a little more expensive. You want to get him for about 150. Now you can honestly get it. You can honestly get him for about 145. You sit here for a few minutes. He's not that hard to get there. So let's go with about 145 for him. So the grand total it will cost you this is 385,000 coins. So now you get the Terry McLaurin back, right? So the Terry McLaurin is kind of key to this. So the Terry McLaurin you get back, you can auction. So you're spending 385,000 up front, and this is what you're getting back. You're getting a Terry McLaurin, which I'm going to show you guys his price so you guys can have an idea. So wide receiver. For the Redskins, Terry McLaurin. Let's go check him out. Ghost of Madden Past. A future, actually. Don't type in past. That won't, that won't find you much. Ghost of Madden Future. So he goes for 217k. Now remember, these are just the bottom prices right now. And it is early in the morning. You could probably sell them at night. You always want to sell things at night. You could sell Terry McLaurin at night for about 240k. Which after reduction will end up being about 220k. Remember, we got to factor in tax to this. So that's about 220k. You could probably get back for Terry McLaurin. So here's the here's the difference. So just remember the numbers: 240k for Terry McLaurin and 385k to the set. So now it's coming over to the set. So like I said, you're gonna want to do it three times. So go as, as I'm talking, go collect. I mean, you have one wait till I finish, right? So you're gonna want to go do it three times. Get all the players. You're gonna end up with nine of these cards. Quick sell all of them. When you quick sell all of them, since it's 8,025 per, you're gonna end up with 24,000, like 24,075 kindling total, and then you're gonna have three Terry McLaurins. So keep that in mind. Now, with all that kindling, you want to come over to the store now. This is where you're going to come next as far as the kindling goes. So now you end up with, you've spent about probably, let's see, let's see the math on what you spent. You probably spent around, if it's 385 per time, 
times that by three, you spent about 1,155 coins total. Now, keep in mind, now you have three Tyre McLaurins and 24,000 Kindlings. You're going to want to come over to the Zero Chill, and you're going to want to do the 95 overall Ghost of Past set twice. Now, I'm going to show you guys the prices on them first before you guys go all in on that, and I'll show you guys kind of how the math works. So you're going to want to pull Bo Jackson. You don't have to pull Bo Jackson, but it definitely does help. There's only three of them, so odds are you end up pulling at least one Bo Jackson. So Ghost of Madden Past, let's check them out. So they're going for around 230, two, so 230 a piece. So you could probably sell these at night for about 250. After reduction, you get them for you will probably end up with about 230, 235. So you'd want to do that set twice. Almost all of them go for about the same price. So I guess it doesn't really matter who you pull at this point. So let's see. Let's go over to store. Go over to zero chill, and now you're gonna want to do this twice. So you have 24,075. So if you divide 24,075 divided by 10. That will, no, actually, no, not divided. 2475 minus 10,800 minus 10,800. If you do it twice, it leaves you with 2,475 total kindling remaining. Now, let's do the math so far. So, Terry McLaurin, you can probably end up selling for about 220 apiece. So, 220 times 3. So, you've so far, you made 660,000 coins. You're going to end up with two of these, which you probably sell for about 250 ish. You probably get 230 apiece. So, time plus 250, I mean, plus 230, plus 230. So, there's a grand total, right? So far, you have spent 1,155,000 1, 1, coins to do the set. So far, just in this, you've made back 1,120,000. So far, you've only lost 30K. So, so far, you've pretty much broken even. Now, what's remaining? You have 2,000. Let, let's go. I have the number saved right here. Hold up. You have 2,475 candling still remaining. You guys following? So, you spent 1,155,000 to do the set and do everything, and you made back 1,130,000. So you've lost about 25,000 coins so far with 2,475 kindling left. So with that kindling, you could do one of two things. You can either open up about three of these, or you could open about two of these and a few of these. So you got to open up an 85 plus uh, oop player or an 85 plus zero chill player. I probably recommend the zero chill player. So this is what you're going to do. You could open up two of these. So you subtract 930 from here twice. So that leaves you with approximately 615 total kindling. And you can open up this one about three times. You're going to fall a little. Actually, we'll, we'll go with two times. And then you do this one with two. You can do this two times, which leaves you with a total of 105 kindling left. So you can open up this one twice and this one twice. So remember, you're down 25K. And 85 plus zero triple at the worst possible scenario. Worst possible scenario, you pull two 85s. That sell for about 13K. And then you pull two 78s sell for about 3K. So at worst case scenario, you end up with 26,000 coins. Plus here, you probably end up with about you probably end up with about 32,000 coins. So worst, worst case scenario, wor literally the worst possible, which isn't going to happen scenario, you end up with, where you end up making about 6,000 coins. Because look, you had, you were down by 25,000 coins total. That's what you lost so far. And you end up with about 32,000 coins made. So you end up making about 6, 7K after reduction, maybe like 6K. So worst scenario, you make 6K. So pretty much what it matters is if you hit big on these. Pretty much the whole point of this method is to get to this point right here and have about broken even and anything you get here is just free coins. So essentially, let's say you here you pull you pull a 90, a 90 zero chill player. You end up, you could sell them for like 60K and then you pull like an 84 and 82. You end up making like five, five to 10K there. So you're going to make a 70K. So you were down by, before you're down 25K, you made 70K. Now you just made 50K, just about 50K. So you have 50k up. Now let's go to a better scenario. Let's say out of one of the 84, 85s, you pull like the 94 Jason Kelsey like I did in my bundle or whatever. You, you, let's say you pull the 94 Jason Kelsey. He goes to 200k. So now you made 200k and then you pull an 85 and then a bunch of 78s. You end up with like 260k. So now you just made 200 and about 40k in profit. So let's just say you pull any of the top cards, like I said, Jason Kelsey or any of the top set pieces going into any of these. Or if you open up the 85 plus, you can pull the top uh, pieces that go into Vita Bay. So any of those, you could probably make about a cool 200K off of, 100K off of. Pretty much, if you, as long as you make above 25 to 30K, you just made If you, as long as you make more than 25K, you pretty much just made profit if you follow the prices I said. Now, that's the beauty of this. It's kind of fun, too, because one time you might make 20K, one time you might make 300K, one time you make, might make 150. Think about it. So that probably takes you a grand total. Considering there's not much selling to do, you only have to sell the Ghost of Madden players, and those sell are super quick, so you don't have to worry about that. Considering you probably have to wait for selling, I'd say you could do this method about once every, like, 10 minutes. So let's say in the first time in bro, you make about 10K. The second one, you make about 40K. One of them, you make 100K. And the other one, you make about 50K. Let's say, let's say on average, you make about, with all that said, let's say you make about 55K per time. 
with one being 10k and one being 100k you divide that by two end up with about 55k let's just say that's like the average let's say no let's say the average about 50k and you can do this about probably five to six times an hour you can end up with 300k in one hour if you do it properly remember prices will be fluctuating so you want to take into account that it might take a little bit more time to find the right prices so in that case let's subtract about 100k you could probably make about 200k to 300k an hour i wouldn't say above 300k i'd say somewhere between now there might be some hours where you end up pulling some bangers some crazy good pulls and then in that case all the numbers change but in this specific case you can make easily above 200k per hour doing this right hope you guys followed all the math the reason i didn't do it myself was because i don't have many coins right now i opened up a lot of packs I opened up a lot of stuff. So I'm currently selling a bunch of stuff I pulled from the packs and selling up a lot of other stuff so that I can get enough coins to actually do it myself. I have done it before. It has worked. But when I did it, it was because I was testing it off. I, I test things off video to see if they work first. Then I come do it for the video. So I was testing it. And then with all the stuff I bought and all the coins that came out and I decided to make the video today, I no longer have coins. Hopefully, I'm, I'm planning by about next week to probably have a little over a million once I sell everything and I sell some of the old weight off for the new promos coming out. So by then, I should be fine. But at that point, this will probably be close to gone so at that point we're gonna have to have a new one for you guys so make sure you run this up now and you use it while you still can before the zero chill and everything goes away within the next few days but guys that is about it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy if this did help you guys out or you do like this uh you guys like this math make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure to drop a big like on this video guys remember liking the video always always helps the channel out so make sure you smash the like button hit that subscribe button come join the channel we're 20 subs away from 16,000. So make sure you hit the subscribe button comment down below guys the comment section is alive and well again with the food miss being gone you are able to comment. I will answer all your comments. Any questions on this method, comment down below. And turn that noti bell. Once you guys do all those things, I'll be very happy. I'm not saying the giveaway today, so I have to remember not to say that. But that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.